Hey guys, welcome back. Kellen here from Droid Life. So today I'm just going to do a quick software tour walkthrough of the HTC Resound. So this is essentially Verizon's first um, Sense, well it's their first Sense 3.5 device, but it's also Verizon's first Sense 3.0 plus device, so anything beyond 3.0. Um, the HTC Thunderbolt, I believe, was 2.0, and the Incredible 2, I believe, was 2.1 or somewhere along there. So, as you can see, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things you'll notice right away is the lock screen. So they've changed this. It's got this sort of ball you can just drop in the middle, and that unlocks. Also, depending on the lock screen you have set up, you can, you can go ahead and use shortcuts. So, like, if you want to jump right into your phone, Gmail, vo Google Voice, or your camera, you know, you can actually make those whatever you want. Um, you just drag those into the circle, and that'll load up, say, the camera. So uh, they've done some cool things um, visually to uh, make Sense 3.0 or 3.5 really nice. So um, performance issues, on the other hand, I can talk about those a little bit later, and you'll see them in our review. But anyway, I just wanted to dive into what Sense 3.5 is going on. So if you flick quickly in your home screens, you can see you can do this wheel sort of effect. I'm not really sure what the point is. Um, if you actually try to stop it on a specific screen, it's almost impossible to do. So it really just looks cool. I'm not really sure why they've included that. Um, some other things you'll notice are in the uh, notification bar. You can see they've got shortcuts to previously used apps up top. They also have this quick settings menu and it lists uh, most of your uh, most important um, toggles. The only thing missing is Wi-Fi. In order to uh, actually toggle Wi-Fi, you have to go into this button, which is your Wi-Fi settings, turn it on, and then connect to a network. I'm not really sure why they used all of these in there, but left Wi-Fi out. I'm not really sure the decision behind that, but or I understand the decision behind that. But anyway, they also have a task manager built into Sense now, and as you can see right there, it tells you how much your total memory is, how much is free being used, and actually if you go right into that, you can start checking off apps you don't want open. Now, obviously, most of us know that Android doesn't need a task killer, but you never know. You might have a rogue app, and you might need to kill it off, and you can do that built into Sense. You don't have to download a third-party app. Okay, so uh, I want to show you the app drawer really quickly. It's a paginated sort of one-flick app drawer, or I should say multi-flick. You can no longer just flick once and get all the way to the bottom. You have to go page by page. They also have some tabs down here to show you Verizon's bloatware, stuff that you've downloaded, you're frequently used. Um, one thing I've, you'll notice is you can see I'm scrolling in there, there's sort of a lag in there. And I see this all over Sense 3.5, there just seems to be a lag in between tabs and sliders and certain things. It's just So it's sort of frustrating knowing it has a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. Same one that's in T-Mobile's Galaxy S2, which has none of these sort of lagging issues. So anyway, it's a Sense thing. I'm not a huge fan of it, by the way, but there are, they do have some nice things in here that you should see. Um, the biggest thing that you all probably want to know about is how Beats integration works. Okay, so Beats integration, let me go ahead and drop my Beats in here. So if we plug that in, you see we get the uh, headphone logo up top. Um, now in order to use Beats, you actually have to load up the native music app. And if you don't use the native music app, you don't get to use Beats, so sort of frustrating. Like, let's just, we'll just play um, this song right here, this Kanye song. You can see right away, pops up, let me turn this way down. You can see right away we get this Beats logo up top there. So it tells you that this audio is enhanced by Beats. And if we go ahead and pull that down, you can see your song's playing and you can disable Beats audio if you want to. And the HTC guys have, have, have made it clear that it's not just a bass boost or something like that, but, and it definitely, you can tell the difference when you toggle that on and off. Have they dumbed down the audio so that they can boost it back up by enabling it? I have no idea. All I know is it does sound good. Um, so I would leave that on if you're using the native music player. So go ahead and enable that. Um, but as far as beats working, again, it only works in this native music app, which seems you know, a little ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. If we go ahead and load up, like say, Google Music or something like that, and we go ahead and play, let's play the first song that we have on here. Actually, I don't know if this device has been activated. Yeah, so playing, and you can see no Beats logo. So you get no Beats special advantages if you're using that. I've tried Winamp as well. I've tried Amazon's Music Player. So none of the uh, third-party music apps will give you that Beats experience. So I did plug it into my car, though, using an auxiliary jack, and the Beats logo does come up there as long as you're using, you know, again, that native music player. So it does have some advantages, but it seems to be a little more limited than I think most of us would have hoped for. Um, one last thing, I just want to show you the uh, settings menu. 
So settings menu looks just like Sense always does. If we go into about phone and software, you can see it's running Android 2.3.4, HTC Sense 3.5, just to prove that to you right there. Um, all right, so I did want to show you guys quickly the camera app before we get out of this. And what I'll show you is obviously you have filters that you can do on the fly, which are really cool. Um, the camera takes amazing photos. You'll see those in the blog. But I want to show you this in the gallery app. If I actually pull up a photo and if I tap on it, there's, there's almost like a little delay in there before this menu appears. And there shouldn't be a delay. So that's just sort of frustrating. But you also do have quite a few nice sliders and features in here. You know, it's a really polished UI. It just takes a little bit longer than I would have expected coming from a dual core processor. But you can crop and other things like that. So anyway, um, this has just been a quick software tour. Um, HTC Sense 3.5 on HTC Resound. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I like the look of HTC Sense. But HTC Sense 3.5, so far, I'm not enjoying the uh, performance of it. Knowing other phones with similar specs and how they run, this one seems to be a little slower than I would have liked. Um, it's not going to destroy you by any means, but in the time of dual core processors and stuff, this phone should just be crazy fast. And so far, it hasn't necessarily been that for me. So, um, anyway, we'll have the rest of the review up at the blog. Check us out. We're Droid Life. Peace.